Right, so here we are in format. I think step number one, we'll just see that our units are set to metric, yes. <coughs> and next we want to set our location. We click on import satellite image and we can zoom in on Pinelands. You can see you've got the entire world at your disposal, but you can zoom in on Pinelands and set the location visually this is close to where we are working and I'm going to pretend that this open field over here is uh, some place where there is going to be a new building finish importing the image and there we can see this place the image to scale in our drawing and we can now in our format file and we can now quickly go and sketch we can obviously take some time with this if it is necessary to be more accurate the outline of the building and there we can drag that upwards that is 30 meters there we go 50 meter building and that looks good 50 feet Twenty meters. There we go. Right, so there's the shape of our new building. Seen from different sides. That is step number one. Once again, just making sure that we have the, the right units applied. It's metric, yes. Uh, often we set the location, of course, and the energy analysis there. Where is the sun over here? Where we find the sun, we can do a solar analysis of shadows at any time of the year. And day, we can set that over here. And then when we click on solar analysis, we will be able to analyze in August you have to select a face let's look at the roof what kind of um, PV photovoltaic generation of energy we can expect there it looks round about 487 watts per square meter that we can expect pretty much in the middle or just after winter for the month of August our object and over here we can see we can apply levels we can add multiple levels number of levels to add um, let's make that uh, 7 distance between levels 4 meters okay after these levels have been created we then go to the properties panel over here select the shape and we toggle on use levels that has now created the levels and then generate insight the green building studio website opens and then one would sign in and after selecting the project it now runs through the analysis here the analysis is progressing so here it can be seen that the green building studio has now run an analysis on this project there can be seen the energy metrics there are some run charts what project defaults are used for building 
spaces, zones, surfaces, openings. So Green Building Studio is the comprehensive solution for energy analysis. <coughs> Clearly this is just a mass, so it's not going to have a lot of the information. The weather station information is also really interesting to note. We've got the um, the information here, including uh, wind roses. Another way then that we can handle the massing shape that we create and format is to bring it into Revit. So on the add-ins, there's the Revit converter. We import from format to Revit and there is our file B that we used previously. That brings in the shape which we can now go and use some mass modeling tools within Revit. Looking at an elevation We want to get some uh, more elevations going over here, so we are just going to array them quickly. Maybe make um, 10 of them, don't group and associate, constrain them vertically. Which give us 40 and another 2. Going back to our mass, clicking on the mass we can create mass floors. I'm going to select all of them. That then divides the mass into floors from which one may then create some actual components. Floors, mass floors. We can select all of the floors, except that one create floors. That is now use an actual floor structure and create the roof. there is the roof. See we can create walls select my face and we can also create curtain systems There we are creating the curtain system. So very quickly one can build up an idea according to which the shape and the function of this building will work. If one were interested in the floor space then one would create Under the mass, there's mass flooring, and we can quickly create, giving the family and type. The floor area that we can have, the level at which it occurs, and 
even the family and type of the of the mass slab. Okay, that then creates the schedule, and we can see the coverage specifically that we can get out of the conceptual model that we have created. So for an architect that's important because you want to know what is the total area for instance that you have for your building and there we can see that is the total area for the building. Let's just be noted also that where in this shape um, I did not create levels uh, within format and so when it got into Revit I had to slice it up with Revit's levels however on the other mass you can see here this is the format one that was sliced up with levels those levels come along as mass floors so we want to slice the mass up within format one wouldn't need to do that within Revit. And then after this has been done one can then carry on make sure that the location is set correctly in this case we can see that we are in Pinans here that is good and then we can generate or create an energy model I'm going to go ahead and create it. Now after the energy model has been created we can then carry on and generate an insight model. Place. Energy analytic model. Use the existing energy analytic model, yes. Okay. Accept. Right, so this analysis is still going strong. Um, I'm not too sure how long it's going to take, but what uh, you can compare it with is maybe what it would look like if it was a normal project it would give you the 2030 insight and the year 2030 what the Americans are aiming towards so to recap using format you can create a mass the mass in format itself you can generate an energy analysis or otherwise you can get the mass into Revit from which you can also generate an energy analysis to um, create a better building uh, with regards to your energy usage